now uh, there was a question uh, being asked that uh, can we have two return statements over here or can we have a, a two return types of a, of, a, of a method right let's say this uh, method i've written is end can we have two return types as soon as i write two return types the compiler will gonna throw an error right so this thing is not possible a, a method can only have one return type right and same way if i return if i write return over here any number over here integer right and if i again type return over here then again this will be treated as a unreachable code if you see over here unreachable code so there has to be only one return statement over here you cannot write two return statements and the method cannot have two return types all right and in any case uh, you want to return more than one value in this method then that has to be uh, of an array type but that has to be present inside the single return statement right now what is an array uh, we'll be discussing about that in upcoming lectures now the next thing comes is this particular section right now what are these if uh, if i go back to this slide we uh we'll discuss about this access modifier for the timing we are giving it as public then we have seen the return type we have seen the method name right and now comes is the parameter list so this thing is basically a parameter list now what can we keep inside the parameter list right let's say if i uh go, if i have written and i uh, over here right i can write and j over here now same thing i can actually declare it over here as well right declare in the sense i can write end k i can write string a i can write char c i can write float f boolean v so this uh section can have n number of parameters it can have n number of parameters or it cannot have any parameters right now we don't uh, initialize these variables over here we we just declare them over here right means you cannot cannot write any value over here like this right it it will actually gonna compiler will gonna throw some error over here right but yes you can do the same thing over here but these things will not gonna call as uh, parameters right this will not gonna call as a parameter but these are the parameters right you can only declare them you cannot define them you cannot define uh, the parameters over here right so it means that whenever you're gonna call this method you actually need to uh, define the values to these variables right and if if the variables are actually declared over here then it's not mandatory that you should actually provide values to them right as in uh, i've created a method called display over here if i uh, create another method that says show right and i keep the same values over here let's say int a int b right string c right all these values over here like this and if we call this method now how to call a method uh, in order to call a method i'll go over here i'll just create an object of this class so i'll say learning methods l equal to new learning methods right and i'll say l dot and the very first method i called is display see as soon as i call this method i actually need to give values to these parameters right but if i call the method l dot show i it's not mandatory that i should define values what are there inside uh, this particular method right so any any parameter that you have given over here whenever you give a call to this method it will actually gonna ask to provide the value to these parameters so this thing uh, that we have seen over here is called as parameter uh, list right so parameter list are the variables which are declared inside the declaration of a method like this and uh, uh, the pa method parameters 
can be nothing uh, one or more than one right we we can have a method without any parameters or we can have one or more uh, than one uh, parameters inside a method and for multiple parameters they are basically separated by these in what uh, these commas right and now the next thing comes is the method body right so the body of a method always starts from uh, the opening curly braces and the closing curly braces right all statements of a method goes within the pair of curly braces only so it means uh, that you, the, these are mandatory to add you cannot remove these curly braces if you remove them then the compiler will actually gonna throw an error over there right so it is mandatory to give the open curly braces and the closed curly braces and anything that you want to achieve has to be written inside this particular method only all right and one thing more uh, if you're talking about methods there are times when we actually not gonna write uh, the body to the method there are times when we actually gonna declare them like this only right but this is uh, not uh, the right time to discuss that particular thing right that will be uh, coming with the upcoming lectures right why we need this thing as well right so but for the timing uh, it's it's important it's mandatory that in a class we need to have a, a method with a body right this is a body of a method right and same way execution of the method it either stops uh, with a return statement or the closing curly braces. Now, uh, before we proceed uh, further, we first actually should see how to call a method in a class, right? Now, whenever we are calling a method in uh, a class, right, uh, there is a main method, right? Uh, here, all the execution happens, right? So, I'll, I'll just remove all these things and uh, we know that if, if we need to call anything from a class we first need to create a copy of that class right so we cannot we cannot direct call these methods we will be creating a copy of that class and from that uh, copy instance will gonna call the method from this class now in order to do this i first need to create an object of this class right by saying learning methods uh, learn equal to new learning methods like this right and then uh, i'll use this uh, reference variable this is basically a reference variable and this is an object right so i'll be using this reference variable and i'll be uh, call and we'll call the dot operator and we should be able to access all the method and the data members that are there inside this class right so you can see the data members are the variables and uh, the methods right and if you want to call any method any method that you have uh, created inside this class will actually going to show uh, you as soon as you type uh, as soon as you call the dot operator right you'll see the class name against your method name so if you want to call the method show you can directly call this method and same way i can say learn dot and the second method right now basically what i'm doing i'm not calling the method from this class i'm actually calling the method from this object right so this is basically a copy of this class as soon as you create an object it holds all the methods inside this object and then we can call the method by the reference of this object right so this reference is actually holding this object right wherever this object is stored inside the memory this reference is actually uh, holding this object and actually calling these methods from the object itself so same way i can create n number of objects if i create one more object of this class and that object uh, let's say i give it a name as learn one right so this object will also going to uh, contain the entire copy of the class with all these methods 
so same way i can say uh, learn one dot show i can again call all the method from this class now this will be a separate object that is allocated to a memory and this show method is actually called by this object and this show method is called by a different object 